Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. So today we are predicting the IGCSE 0607 International Maths for May 2025. But remember, the paper two is on the 29th of April, so a little bit earlier. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, even though my predictions are based on these 45 minute papers from the previous syllabus, it is now changed. We have an equal weighting now between paper two, non-calculator and paper four. Of course, paper six is still now at 20%, but there's an equal waiting between paper two and paper four. So my predictions, again, those topics that are more often topics are going to become higher because there are simply more questions to do. Now, number one is indices has always been a popular topic at 88%, almost certain. Something like this, so 49 to the power of a half, or I could ask you 81 to the power of three over four, making sure you know those indices rules for those one and two mark questions. Now, logarithms, I've put a big cross through, and that's because it's been taken off the syllabus. I will go through everything at the end of this video to make sure you watch until the end so you know exactly what's on the syllabus, exactly what's been taken off. So you can now ignore logarithms. Certs, again, always been a popular topic on 0607, now on 0580 as well. Up at 82%, this is very typical, a simplifying question and then rationalizing denominator. If you do not know that phrase, then check out the video above where I go through those kinds of questions. On to number skills. These have always been important towards the start of the paper, usually the easier kind of questions. Knowing your square numbers, knowing your prime numbers and knowing your cube numbers. Probability slightly down at 76%, although this could change now with the slightly longer paper for paper two. Again, this is a very typical probability question. Generally, probability traditionally on GCSE papers as well as IGCSE have been on calculator papers. But again, we have no idea how much they're going to put non-calculator style, and they certainly could, and they have done before. So these are the list of topics. So things like probability, number skills, indices are important. But notice topics that are in the often category, not logs anymore, of course, but say algebraic fractions and factorizing, these now probably go into a more almost certain category because the exam is so long. And this is the second part of that spreadsheet as well. Again, looking at those topics like variation proportion, very popular on the non-calculator paper. Saying something like circle theorems, they could also put in a non-calculator paper. Making sure you've covered those often topics, particularly on paper two. Now, on to paper four. Again, this is going to be very typical with the old paper four. There's going to be not, not much change between it. The first one here is volume surface area 3D, up here 112%. Because this paper is now slightly smaller, again, it's going to be slightly less certain than it was before. But you see lots of these kinds of questions. Quadratics, no change at 59%. So definitely in that sometimes often idea, but can sneak into lots of different questions. This is a typical question where it likes to sneak in. Functions, again, always been a big topic. I think it's going to stay a big topic as well and could be now distributed across paper two and paper four. Again, this is a typical question, some composite functions, inverse functions, making sure you're picking up those easy five marks here. Sine cosine rule, again, always been popular and still is popular. Again, the typical kind of question here. We're looking for angles and areas of triangles using the sine and cosine rule, sometimes with bearings too. <clears throat> Transformations, 123%, so it's up and certainly always been a popular topic. Again, could be distributed on paper two and paper four. One thing to realize on this particular course is stretches have now been taken off. Again, this is why I said to watch until the end of the video so I can go through all the details with you. Statistics, again, now going to be much more paper four orientated and no surprise it's so high here. Again, making sure you use your graphical calculator to work out things like estimate of means is very important. Only two marks. You do not want to waste time doing it manually like you do on 0580. Probability, again, talked about this already. Again, no change. It's going to appear on one of the papers and possibly both. Percentage calculations, again, up at 147%, so that's pretty high. You're expecting one of these big detailed percentage questions on paper four, and I don't think that's going to change with the 2025 syllabus. GDC skills, again, no change, also at 112%. has always been at least one question on the paper four, sometimes two. I think because it's now slightly smaller, I think it's just a guaranteed one question where you can pick up good 10, 12 marks. 
And this is the spreadsheet, so you can see everything here. Again, probability, volume of 3D shapes we have talked about. Again, coordinate geometry, which I haven't talked about on either paper, usually does appear in some shape or form. And again, the second part of the spreadsheet here as well. Now, I did promise you the changes to the syllabus content, which is important. So going from this part here, again, added to core, we've now got graphs of functions, removed from the core subject, asymptotes, transforming graphs, and cumulative frequency. This one in particular is very important. Notice exponential growth and decay has been added to the extended subject content. So working with graphs, for example, like two to the power of x, or two to the power of minus x. Again, haven't talked about that too much. An absolute value has been taken off. So remember those questions like y equals the modulus of 2x minus 1? That has been taken off, not mentioned in this video. Uh, in terms of the content here, term to term rules are now explicitly included. So going like plus 2, for example, this is more for core, I would say. Inverse q proportion now added. So something like y is equal to k over x cubed could now be in there. They've mentioned it specifically, so I definitely revise that. Point plotting on the GDC is also now on there. So actually specifically finding a point, that's important. Again, using the idea of co-interior angles is now included directly. Again, this properties of circles, so knowing these ones here have been added as well. So they'll want to test some of these circle theorem questions out. So I'm sure circle theorems will appear in some way. Angles elevation and depression. Again, we talk about that in GCSE and other IGCSE courses. And now trig equations. So solving something like sine x minus 1 is equal to a half and finding, oh, let's make that plus one, and finding all the solutions between zero and 360 degrees. A probability scale, I don't think that's that important here. Again, some of this content has been removed here with sets and subsets. Um, yeah, algebraic fractions, that's core only. Uh, no absolute value, we've already talked about that as well. And what's probably the most important is last two down here, which is no rules for logarithms, that is gone. So making sure it's in sync now with 0580 and no stretches. Again, we talked about both of those. They have both disappeared from the course. So that's very important to realize. Now, if you want to catch up on everything IGCSE 0607, you've got your exams in best part of a month or a week, or hopefully you're not watching this literally the day before, then do check out the video right in front of you, because over two hours, these go through the essential topics you have to know that's very particular to international maths.